All right, I'm now talking with uh, Andreas Holler, who is um, at EclipseCon France, and um, Andreas is one of the co-project leaders for the Eclipse Scout project. So Andreas, can you um, t tell us first, what is Eclipse Scout? Eclipse Scout is basically a framework for creating business applications, um, like multi-tier applications, a usually client-server one, uh, and it grows from our company, which is BSA. Um, we had a lot of uh, business applications to do, and we did all over again the same glue code. And then we started to put all this glue code out in a framework, and like this, Eclipse Scout started more or less. So, so, is, so is, is Eclipse Scout built on top of RCP? Or? It is. It is on top on RCP, like the runtime stuff. And the whole tooling is built on top of uh, JDT, Java Development Toolkit, and PDE, Plugin Development Toolkit. Okay, so, so it's a framework for doing basically client-server type, type applications? Exactly, yeah. And, and what type of services um, come with Eclipse Scout? Uh, one of the special things is uh, that Eclipse Scout is only a business model of an application, and the whole UI gets injected afterwards. Okay. And basically, Scout comes with a bunch of UI controls right. out of the box. Uh, we are talking about uh, 40 to 50 and has all the ex uh, extension possibilities uh, known of Eclipse like extension points to bring your own comp uh, components in the framework. So, so what are some of the examples of the UI components that, that are provided? In oh, there are a bunch of like uh, from the usual string field where you type in like a first name, a last name, whatever, right. uh, over the date field, uh, date time field, and then we have a special one we call it smart field is kind of a, a code completion or like a type com completion field, uh, and up to tables, tree, uh, planner, calendar, okay. yeah, and okay. so on. And this is all the UI stuff, like the, the client side stuff. And on the server side, we, we bring um, a whole infrastructure for services, okay. uh, which is like basically uh, the like technique below is, is OSGI services. Okay. And the services can uh, be called from every, wherever you are. And it item ge uh, gets uh, to a remote service invocation from right. the client side or to a local one. When and you call and it. so what type of service, like is it security or authentication? The, serv the service is like yeah. business services. Okay. Uh, you, you want to get some data from wherever and okay. you can, uh, from, from the, the implementation of the service, you can grab the data like from the whole world, you are in the Java code. And right. then you can access some web services, or you can access uh, Hibernate okay. below and uh, go straight to a database, whatever. Okay. Oh, interesting. Good. Good. So, so where is Eclipse Scout being? You, you mentioned um, kind of it came out of your company, BSI. Um, so I'm assuming BSI still uses Scout for. Uh, we use it. We, we use it actually. Um, like all of the of the application we are doing doing right now are built on Eclipse Scout. So, so what, we are what, talking what does BSI do? What, what, what's the product that you? That you the, the, we're talking about up to forty to fifty projects. Uh, with huge customers and usually in the CRM market or the call center market, okay. like the, the um, customer to business uh, market. Okay. And some of our customers are b huge banks, Swiss banks. Right. Uh, so it's CRM, call center. Exactly. And all the, the, the uh, account carrying stuff they do in, in, in such applications. Yeah. Right. Okay. Interesting. Good. Um, so Kepler is coming up at the end of, of June, and what's what's new coming out in, in Scout for, for the Kepler release? We enable Scout for Kepler uh, to go to the mobile and tablet devices, which is pretty fancy, I guess. Yeah. Um, that so means you have the same application model, and this runs on uh, either a rich client platform, SWT or Swing, or in the web or on tablets and, and, and mobiles. So, so how for are you doing that? What are you, exactly. Are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> um, for the web, mobile, and tablet, we are using uh, RAP, okay. uh, Rich Ajax uh, pl platform, right. uh, another Eclipse project. And s since we are going this way, we are as well able to, to, to uh, get the Tabris project in there. Right. which uh, provides native con uh, controls of the, of the mobile devices for the JSON protocol. Right, okay. 
Good. So, and then on, this is on the web browser, it's it's wrapped too. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. This is actually one of the of the hugest or fanciest stuff uh, which is new with Kepler. Right. Then there is an uh, yeah, a, a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, only to mention, we we. Um, we took the, the, the whole C, uh, CBI integration of Eclipse, built the project with Tyco, uh, moved from Subversion to Git, okay. and uh, did a whole bunch of um, efforts in the tooling stuff that makes it even more easy to create such business applications. Right. Yeah. Good. Good. That's pretty much so um, in terms of your community and, and contributions, what, what would you like to see if people wanted to come and participate in Eclipse uh, scale project. What, what type of contributions would you like to see? They are all <laughs> happy, welcome, <laughs> of course. Yeah, um, yeah what, what, what I'm thinking about is, um, or what, what would be fancy for me is something like a, a new UI layer, which is like Java FX. Right. The whole world is talking about that. Yeah. Or even new controls. We started right now with, uh, with some marketplace projects which provide additional controls which are kind of specific for a certain uh, business. Right. And as well in this area is a yeah. good place to participate or even in the core. And we started right now, we are, uh, I think the, the second time on the release train, I'm not that sure, <laughs> shame <Yeah>. on me. <laughs> yeah. um, but we, we, we started right now to getting some contributions from out of our company and are really happy to get, to get there. That's great. That's good. Well, and, and if people want to get started with, with Eclipse Scout, I know that your, your project site is great. So can I, would you, is there certain areas or places you'd recommend people to, ch to start with if they wanted to start trying out Eclipse Scout? I think the easiest way to get there is uh, the wiki. We okay. have a quite huge wiki. Uh, people can find a lot of stuff um, described in there. Uh, or even the news group is yeah. pretty active. Good. It's probably one of the most active at the moment. Great. All right. Well, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy Eclipse Conference. Thank you. I will. <laughs>